Hi, here's a quick video to introduce you to Business 3000, which is statistical analysis for business stats. So we're going to talk about it right fast, and I'm going to walk you through the class. So I'm going to show this as a student so you will see what you see and not what I see. Okay. So when you go to the main class, I'm going to have announcements each week. Here's the first announcement introducing myself. And once I finish this video, I will have this video embedded in there. So you'll see the first announcement. And the first things that you need to do are take the orientation quiz. And you want to make sure you read over all the materials before you take it, including the syllabus. And this will help you too by, um, excuse me, by uh, watching this video and reading the syllabus and just making sure you know when the dates are. And then everybody needs to take the midterm and the final in Respondus Lockdown Browser. And here's a quick start guide on how to do it. And there's a quiz where you practice it and you answer questions based on the requirements for using the Lockdown Browser. So go ahead and do that ASAP. They're both due, if I go look on the calendar, they're both due on August 23rd at 3, uh, 11.30 p.m. You need to be doing that. If for some reason your computer does not accept, the, uh, doesn't use the res Respondus Lockdown Browser, you need to email me ASAP because we need to do a workaround. All right, so let's keep going. And again, down the side, you can see the calendar. I have everything in the course. I try to have everything listed here. So, okay, go to the start here. I have the syllabus here. You can read through the syllabus. You can download it if you want. Um, it talks about me. I'm on the Cartersville campus um, two days a week in the fall, but I'm easy to get through email. So here's the information. The textbook and mini tab are free, and I'll show you where those are in just a second. Here's my office hours, Tuesday 1 to 2 and Sunday 8 to 10. The Tuesday may change. But Sunday night, I think it's a great time, 8 to 10. And um, just let me know. Email me, text me, and I'll, I'm will i going to put my text number. I'll show you where I put that. All right. Um, proctored midterm. Again, you have to do a proctored midterm. you got to let me know. You get two hours to take it. You cannot help have help from anybody. A classmate, if I find that you've given each other the questions or whatever, you will get a zero on it and it will affect your grade because I'll show you how many points the midterm and the final are. You are allowed a sheet of notes. Um, you can do a notebook paper or copy paper like an eight by eight and a half by 11 sheet of notes. You can handwrite them, you can type them, whatever you want to do. I will try to do a review session before the midterm. If you can't make it, it's okay. Send me your questions, I'll post the review. Just anything I can do to help you because I know it's going to it's going to be kind of a crazy semester. So just let me know. Um, yeah. So when you use the camera, you got to hold up your sheet of notes just so I see what you put on it. And then you've got to show your ID. But that's all in the Respondus Lockdown Browser quiz. So make sure to do that. I'm not doing any makeups for it. So just let me know. I mean, if, if something catastrophic comes in the way, we're good. You got to work with me, but not oh I forgot it or I, I didn't have time to take it. All right. Final exam, basically the same rules for that, and we'll go over the date soon. You have a shorter window for final exams because it's a final exam. All right, and you get another sheet of notes, but we'll as we keep going closer to that, we'll talk about it. All right, and here's my expectations of what you would be doing. Like you can't share anything. Um, you're not supposed to get help from anybody outside for the midterm and the final. Oh, I see a typo, of course. Um, I will tell you this. These the answers to these questions are not in check. Um, I wrote most of these homework and myself, so they're not in check. I can tell you that now. Uh, so again, remote proctor now. So, and then, okay, assignment information. You've got homework quizzes, group projects, and discussions. So the homework quizzes are, there's 12 of them. I only keep two, uh, uh, excuse me, I only keep 10 of them, so I drop your lowest two. So if you had one that you didn't, two of them that you like didn't do well on, I only keep the um, the highest 10 and you get two attempts to do it. So, and I only record your highest score in the grade book. Group projects. Yep. There's going to be a group project. 
I've got a group project page, so I'll get over there and discuss that too. Discussions, they're voluntary, but mainly it's for you. If you have questions about the homework or something else, you can post them there and I'll answer them and it might help everybody else to see the question that you posted. And again, you don't get points for it. It's all voluntary. Late work policy, I don't accept late work. The only thing I will tell only time I'll take late late work is if you have like a huge life event, um, sickness, something huge happens, death in the family. And unfortunately, I do ask for documentation because I'm trying to keep it fair for everybody so that nobody takes advantage of it when they shouldn't have. So again, like losing the internet, taking a vacation, or forgetting to do an assignment is not a life-changing event. If you ever ever have issues, call, um, text me, email me. We're good. We can talk about stuff. I don't want you to feel like you're alone and it's I'm not going to be you know, open to whatever you need to talk about. I'm here. Okay. So here's the ways to contact me. You can talk to me through my office hours. Um, I'll either be, I, don't call me on my office phone. I know that sounds crazy, but right now it's sitting in a box because I moved offices. Email me. I'm really good about emailing. You can do email through D2L. You can do your Highlands email because it's cpace at highlands.edu. You can text me. I'm cool with that. I have a Google um, voice on my phone. So if you text me at this number, I can get right back to you. Just know if you text me probably past 10 o'clock at night and before 8 o'clock in the morning, I'm not going to answer you back until I get up and get started with my day. Sorry, I go to bed early. I'm old. So, okay, we got that. Let's keep going. Uh, learning outcomes, the COVID-19 guidelines. Read about this. It's about masks and stuff. We're online. But if we do need to meet face to face, remember to try to bring a mask with you. And, you know, if you need to come see me, come see me. I'm OK with that. And I know that, you know, we're online. But and if you want to do a study group or if you want me to do something, let me know. I don't know what you need. And the only way I know what you need is if you tell me what you need. And I'll be happy to do whatever you need to help learn the material. OK. Uh, early warning policy, we have a new thing where we have to report it a different way. The S and the U's, extended absence, let me know. Um, usually it's people who are pregnant or have surgeries that I have to deal with that. Disability statement, if you have a disability um, that is, that's going through student services, just let me know. Financial aid, aid statement just basically means don't disappear from a class because if you get an F dollar sign, it can mess with your financial aid. All right. And then I have here the course outline. I don't think it looks as pretty. I'll show you the page where it looks a lot prettier, but I have all the due dates. I have the point value. I have what you need to get an A. And then um, please know I don't curve grades. The final grade, especially. Um, We'll talk about like if, if something goes really bad on the midterm and a lot of people don't do well, well, let's talk about it. We'll see what we can do to help bring up scores and maybe try to do something to help. Okay, start here again. All right, um, here is the page that has, all right, here we go. It has my outside of D2L email, so use it from your Highlands. My office number, again, it's my phone sitting in a box, <clears throat> but here's text. Text me. I said emergencies only, but you can use that for, um, you can, let me change that while we're talking about it. You can use that for, oops, it's not going to let me do it. Never mind. I'll do it when I get out of student mode. You can just text me. It's fine. All right. Um, I'll put the syllabus in the course uh, outline here again. Okay. The book. The book is free. If you click on that link, you can go here to get the book. You can read it online if you want. You can download it whichever way you want to do it. And I do have it here linked to the course so you can open it. The book's okay. It's not great. So that's why when you see all the materials I made for you, you're going to understand why it's okay if you don't use the book a lot. All right, links again to the orientation quiz and the Respondus Browser Lockdown Practice Quiz. Quiz, It's in the announcements, but it's also here too. Okay, next page. Okay, mini tab 19. That's what we're using this semester. You get it for free. So you're going to click on here and you're going to set up an account. Make sure to use your Highlands email. 
If you use your Georgia Highlands email, you will get it for free. All right, so I have ways for you to do that. I have um, what the windows and what the Macs look like. I will show you this, what I did. I did make videos. Here's how to download Minitab to a MacBook. Here's how to find the menu bar in Minitab because it's a little bit different. And then here it is in Windows. It's going to ask you for a license. Down here is the license. Download it somewhere on your computer so you can locate it. That's what activates your free Minitab. All right. Let's keep going. All right, Chorus Outline. See, it looks a lot better. All right, if you click this link up here, you can download it to your computer. All right, so for week one, sorry about that, you're going to do your syllabus quiz and your respondus quiz, and that is due Sunday, August 23rd. Okay, if you see, that's the only day that something's due on a Sunday. Week two, you're going to do sampling and data, and you're going to take quiz one, and that's not due till September 3rd. I try to give you two week periods to do two lessons. I thought it would be easier that way. So say you've got a bunch of other stuff in your other classes, just know you have two weeks mainly to do my assignments. And I thought it might be easier and you're not having something every week. So, you know, you have more time, but I will say this, do not get behind. This class will sneak up on you. I will say by week four, it's ramping up. Some of this you might have seen before, but some of it I'm taking it to the next level of what you saw in 1401. All right. Uh, group projects, we're going to talk about that in a minute and see there's due dates for certain parts of the group projects. You're going to have your midterm, and I've got those dates in the syllabus. It's going to start, I think I put it the Saturday. Yeah, Saturday through a Thursday. I think that's what it is. Yeah. Again, here's the topics we cover. Week 15 is the week of Thanksgiving. No assignments are due. And then the last week before the final exam, we have the group project presentations. So um, you are gonna you can sign up early. I have a lot of availability that week for when you and your group can meet. Everybody in your group has to attend. If you do not attend your group project presentation, you will fail the group project. And I'm going to go over that, too, about what my expectations are. All righty, and that's final exam. I've got those dates. All right, uh, assignments again. I take only the best 10 out of 12 quizzes. Midterm exam is 150, finals 150, group projects 150 to make up 550 points. So if you do not do well on a midterm, excuse me, midterm exam, final exam, or group project, it can bring your grade down a lot. All right. The, the homework quizzes, if you want to work with somebody, I'm okay with that. If you guys want to discuss stuff and work together, I'm cool with that. Midterm and final, you are not allowed to do that. Okay, so that's the course outline. All right, so let's go back to the course home. And let's go to the next section. All right, group projects. Oh, I know everybody hates a group project, but I promise this will pro it's going to try. I'm going to try to make it interesting. All right, so groups have to be five people or more. You cannot have less. I would prefer to have five to six people in a group, maybe seven, but don't go any less than that because I really, uh, that last week's going to be stressful for me for grading them and getting through all the presentations before grades are due. All right, here is a place you can get data sets. There's business, finance, education, healthcare, and if you click on these, it takes you to different stuff that you can see for data. Like if I click on it, it'll open a new tab. There's tons of data things that you can look at. All right. If you need help picking out a data set, let me know. We can talk about it. All right. So, all right. So your group has to pick one data set and it's got to be approved by me. So you want to pick a data set. You want to give me a link to it. It cannot be something that you're doing at your job. I'm sorry. It's not fair to the rest of the people in your group. It needs to be a data set that you can search like this way. I may have some community service data. I work with Bartow Give It a Chance, but I'm not sure if that data set's robust enough for us to use in here. Okay. The first due date, I think it's September 
17th, I think if I'm remembering right. Yes, yeah, September 17th. One person in the group has to send me what their data set is and who is in their group. Here's the data set approval form. Okay, this is one thing I'll do for you. If you can get the majority of your people to agree with me on a time when you get your data set, I will sit down with you in a Zoom meeting and we can look at your data set together and I can give you ideas of what to do with your data set so that you're not going into it blind. I'm cool doing that. Okay, and start thinking of final times for your final presentation. Okay, so here we go. So you're going to plan for 30 minutes. There's no makeup times. Everybody has to be there, okay? So I'm looking at any time during these this week, November 30th through December 5th. Look, I even have Friday and Saturdays. I want to make it as accessible to you because I know there's a lot going on right now. Project information, here it is. Um, is it gonna open? Yeah, Ooh, I didn't mean to do it as a Word doc. Oh, I did because I want you to be able to write all over this and make it whatever you want. All right, some of this is not gonna make sense. Okay, so you got a group project, I say when it's two. Your data set needs to have at least six variables and 50 rows of data. Um, you're going to do a PowerPoint and you've got to turn in your mini tab outputs and I'll, when we talk about that more, I'll show you what I need. And then you've, you required 15 slides. These are the types of things that I'm going to be looking for and it'll start to make more sense as we go. All right. You are going to rep present your report to me. I get to ask questions to each member of the group. So you've got to understand you understand every slide and every test you ran. OK, if you can't answer something, then that tells me you don't really understand your data and what's going on. OK, you also have to fill out an evaluation on each person for an individual grade. Sorry. And you've got to pull your weight. Please do not put this on one person. Because I will tell you this, if I pick up that you don't know what test you're running or why you're running it, I will, I'm going to keep questioning you. It's going to be uncomfortable and it's not going to be fun. This is what happens in the real world. So best thing, do the presentation, get together as a group. I can set you up Zoom sessions or whatever you want. Practice, practice, practice. Know it backwards and forwards why you did what you did and you should be good. And again, when I see you on the screen and you present, you're more than welcome to have a cheat sheet of why you ran something and all that. I just want to make sure you understand you did what you did. And again, I'm cool meeting with everybody. Look at your data. I mean, it might be a good way for you to see what how statisticians look at data. OK, so that was that. Let me go back. Sorry, this is going longer than I thought it would. Ugh. OK, rubric. I know some people said in the orientation they don't do rubrics. Well, I do. And I'm okay with it. So here it is. I do a rubric. I tell you your point values and it will help you. This is what I'm looking for. Okay. Why do I give you a rubric? Because you're not statisticians. You're learning and I want you to learn. And I want you to know that when you do this, you have confidence when you go and do stuff at your job. I'm just trying to build those habits of what a good statistician does. I know you're not going to be a statistician, but I want you to think like one. The minute that you can harness data and people can't, you become very, very powerful. All right. So let's look at the last one. Evaluation form. Again, each person will fill out an evaluation form on their group. OK, you don't fill it out. You're going to get dinged. All right. And I may do another video as we get closer to the group because, gosh, this video is already long. All right. I'm going to keep talking. Almost done. That's group projects again. We can go over that later. All right, let's see. Okay, let me just give you an example. Exam testing info. What the heck did I do here? Oh, quick start guide and the agreement. Uh, I don't know if that's going to be there much longer. I think I'm going to pull it out. All right, so here we go because I put it somewhere else. All righty. Let's, let's go look at a lesson just to get it, and then we're done. Course materials is where you want to go. Let's go look at normal distribution. Okay, for normal distribution, what have I done for you? So I have done, I've talked a little bit about it. I've got the PowerPoints here that can help you. If you open them, they'll come up as a PDF and you can download them here. If you want to print them out, that's great. If you don't, I 
it's cool. If you want to make notes, what, however you learn is great. Do I expect you to read them? No. What I do expect you to do is I made your videos. And I have for each PowerPoint up here, I have a video of me talking about what's going on. I broke them down in bite-sized pieces. Because like I said, right now this video is way too long that I'm doing right now. I try to break them off. I try to make them small so you can digest it. And if you need to watch it over and over again, it's there for you. And I even have how you do it in mini tab. And I did put like here for Mac mini tab, you'll choose the option button instead of the shaded area tab. So when you try to do some stuff, if you've done a Mac, the Mac version of mini tab, it may be slight, slightly different. There are some lessons where I actually have like Mac version versus Windows version. All right. And then you hit here and it'll take you right to your quiz. Okay. And the quiz is showing in inactive, but don't worry about it, but it's really active. Okay. Another thing, if you go to communications and go to discussions, that's where I put where you can ask the questions and group projects. Um, I'm going to break you up into the groups and you'll have your own discussion board where you can ask each other questions. Honestly, I have to figure out how to do it again because D2L can be a real big pain, but I'm, I'm going to figure that out for you guys to do that. All right. I think that's it. I've gone on way too long and I'm sure you're sick of hearing my voice. And don't worry about this. I'll get rid of this because you don't need to worry about that because everything for Respondus Lockdown Browser is here under Welcome to Business 3000. Da, da, da. It's here. Okay, whatever you need is here. I'd rather you get it here where everything is in one place and it would make you happy. All right. Best practice. Text me if you have questions. Email me if you have questions. Don't be afraid to ask. I'm here for you. I know we don't meet face to face and I know it's an online class. Stay on task. If you put stuff off to the last minute, this class is going to kick your butt. Don't cheat. Be honest with me. I'm here, like I said, to help you 24 seven. I when you get start looking at those data sets, let me know. I'm happy to walk you through them and give you advice on maybe how to run the test and what data to look at. All right. Thanks for listening. Again, email me or text me. Bye.